the Renee Assay of Low, Massachusetts, and it's not woke versus anti-woke. It is not left versus right. It's just the oligarchies controlling the people. And it doesn't matter where you are, because the oligarchies have different plays for different populations. So what might work in Oklahoma in a red state, obviously wouldn't work here in Massachusetts. But they'll have their own means and their own ways of trying to take control, take away your control as a parent, take away your control as a local voter in your school district, um, away from the population, and they control everything in regards to the schools. And why do they do that? Because school pr private charter schools are profitable. There's a lot of profit if you privatize the schools. So. Here, Maurice Cunningham, who is a retired political professor from UMass Boston. He writes a lot about dark money. Yes, it's slanted from a left point of view, but all the factual information is really good for you to understand. And it might be even better for you to see how the oligarchy works to control school systems from the left, rather than just hearing something of the weird stuff that's happening in Oklahoma. That's crazy. <laughs> but, you know, we have weird stuff here in Massachusetts. The main goal is two conditions. One of the two conditions have to be met that got my um, things going here. There is mayoral control of school politics without the messy democratic intervention of the elected school board. Repeat, without the messy democratic intervention of the elected school board. And this is the problem with charter schools. And this is the reason why the oligarchy loves charter schools. You don't really have any voting control over it anything, right? We have a school board that in Lowell, Massachusetts that can oversee all the schools, that holds the superintendent accountable. Even our vocational high school, our vocational high school, which is technically a charter school, has voted members of the community onto that board. So if we move to this oligarchy model and this, they will use like the Moms for Liberty doesn't really care about banning books. Or they don't care about queer theory. They don't care about any of that, by the way. They care about who's funding them and who is funding them but the oligarchies. And you're going to get like some guy like James Lindsay saying, parents, you need to have control. You have rights, parental rights in the school systems. And really, they have no care about parental rights. None whatsoever. Their job is for you to choose the privatization of charter schools. Their job is to ensure that you get rid of your democratic intervention of the schools. Because once everything is privatized in charters, you lose your voting rights. You lose your voting rights. You lose your rep direct representation through voting in the school board and how the schools are run. Is that what you really want to give everything to the oligarchies? Give away all the control. Like, I don't even like that queer stuff, by the way. You know, but also, like, I don't... The people who publish those books, unfortunately, it's unfortunate, but in my other video, I'll tell you what is good and how to put good into your, into your children and actually how to volunteer and put good into those, those schools as well. Because you're not going to have control over what book publishers publish. They crap. They publish crappy books. I know. My son was assigned a bunch of crappy books in 2021 at a private school. And what I did is I called up the vice principal and I did not yell. I said, have you seen the Lexile score? So the Lexile, Lexile scores are like the reading level. My son was like in ninth grade. I said, these books read at third or fourth grade level practically. But they were like geared to a young adolescent, young adult fiction. It's like, why are you giving my book, my kid books that read at a third or fourth grade level? But that got their attention, by the way. And <laughs> so this is the thing. It's not woke versus anti woke. No, not everything is being evergreened. That's not the case because it's not coming from the left. It's not coming from the left. It's not coming from the right. It's coming from the top, the top, right? The oligarchy controlling us because of Citizen United. Citizen United changed everything. They want to control everything. They want to take away the little control you have with a school board, the direct democratic intervention 
of an elected school board is something that they want to take away from you because they want to wipe out public schools. They want to wipe it out. And they want to give out their private charter schools that are usually for profit and all that money goes up back up to them again. And it's not being repurposed and reutilized and invested in the local community. It's just going straight out into the oligarchies, right? And we don't want that either. So, you know, you see like all these people like, the woke is coming to get us, they're grooming the kids with the queer theory. You know what? They had crappy books in the 80s. They had crappy books in the 90s. Look at the Sweet Valley High plots, story plots of the Sweet Valley High. That was pure trash. And that was sitting in your kid's library all through middle school in the 80s and 90s. So, you know, this this queer stuff, like the Moms of Liberty making these scenes, it's nothing. It's just for the oligarchy. It's not about the parents. It's not about parent rights. It's about serving the oligarchies, oligarchies that fund this through dark money. You hear James Lindsay chatting away. This weird nonsense about like Gnostic sex cults. Weird. It's all baloney. It's all baloney, guys. I love you all.